It's Sunday, and it's market day at Chinchero, an Indian village only a couple of hours' drive from Cusco. Live Andean music can be heard everywhere, especially if there's a chance of a fiesta. The villagers hold their weekly market in front of the colonial church. What a reward. That's Kelka Machai Valley down there. Finally, after several hours, Jerry reaches the top. Well, that's the top of the pass. Some 15,000 feet, and it's, it's taken about four hours from the valley below. Well defined Inca path for large parts of the way, but the last few hundred feet was some climb. Glorious sunshine, though, wonderful scenery. Privileged to be here. The group just got to rest for a few moments, eat a chocolate bar, take in the views, before zigzagging down the other side. There are in fact two peace acts, the one colonial and modern lying beside the river, the other an Inca fortress, situated on a mountain spur some 200 feet higher up. Well, this is a trekking trip, so it's not surprising that the group visits the Inca site. So we stretch our legs along a trail high above the agricultural terracing. Eventually we arrive at Pisac's main religious centre, which features some fine temples. These temples were used in the 15th century to worship the sun god until the Spanish conquest. And the reason of this worshipping was to have a good farming. Although this is not one of the established passes that we're supposed to walk over, it feels like a pass today. We've taken six or seven hours to get up here and uh, there are some magnificent views but we are suffering a little bit with the, the hike. Down below me at about 1500 feet, maybe a thousand feet, is the camp and all surrounding are these wonderful mountains. The camp is Mayuyu and it's named after the river that comes down from the mountains to the left of me. Magnificent views all round. Shame we've got to go down, only to go up again tomorrow. And not another pass for a couple of days yet.